Anyone who drives a truck with a cab air suspension can thank Bill Nibbling for that extra bit of isolation from the rough roads. He invented cab air suspensions back in the early 1980s when his cab over tractor got to be a bit too much to bear. Today, nearly 40 years later, the company he founded, called Link, is still producing cab suspensions for several of the OEMs. Link is very close to releasing a brand new semi-active suspension. It'll be called Road Optimized Intelligence, or ROI Cabmate, and drivers are going to love it. A typical cab air suspension uses air springs and a pair of shock absorbers to help take the jolts out of the ride. It's a big improvement over having no suspension at all, but the damping rate in an off-the-shelf shock absorber isn't variable, so it can't effectively manage the compression and rebound rate of the suspension. The damping rate in Link's semi-active suspension is infinitely variable, so it can adjust to conditions hundreds of times every second. Before we take to the streets, we'll check in with Ty Davis, Link's senior engineer, to get an idea how it works. The first part of the test is most noticeable, the difference, because what we're trying to do is, is act like a stiff shock at low frequencies okay. and a, uh, a very soft shock. So this is another test where we put in a, a step input, uh, basically a, going over a big bump. Uh, so very quickly go up and then go back down. This is the uncontrolled state you're seeing here. And here's what happens when we turn the, the control on. The shock absorber is doing the control. It's, it's reading signals from a position sensor and, a, and an accelerometer to determine millisecond by millisecond what's the best uh, best stiffness of that shock. Let's jump into the truck and get out in the road so we can see what this suspension does. Link's test truck is a 2016 Peterbilt 579, which delivers a fairly nice ride to begin with. First, we'll drive over a stretch of road with a washboard texture, and then we'll run over a couple of sets of railroad tracks for a jarring sort of bump. Link's crew will then switch out the stock cab suspension and will install a Cabmate ROI semi-active suspension and will drive over the same course one more time. We'll show you the results on a split screen so you can compare the difference between the two suspensions. So we're in Hull, Iowa right now and we're just heading west on Route 18. This is sort of the unofficial test track for Link Manufacturing. It's a piece of concrete road. You can certainly feel the separation in the slabs and uh, we've got the factory version of the suspension on the truck right now and we're just coming out here to do a dry run the a run to see you know to establish our baseline and we'll see what this road feels like with this particular suspension obviously you can see me jostling up and down here with the concrete slabs as we go over them now let's try that same stretcher road with the semi-active suspension so we'll be able to compare the images on a split screen here in just a minute. Uh, from the first ride to this ride, you can see the difference in the movement of the seat in the cab relative, you know, my head relative to the back wall and what have you. And uh, I know it's moving less, uh, but the movement itself isn't as jerky either. It's a much smoother motion. Um, for someone who's sleeping in the bunk right now with this suspension on, I'm sure they would probably stay asleep, whereas before, uh, because it was more jarring, they'd likely be awake and complaining at this stage of the game. But this really does make quite a difference. The, you can still feel the bumps, it doesn't make them go away, but it certainly takes the, uh, the impact out of them very effectively, I'd, I'd say. Now let's watch this on a split screen. The stock suspension is on the left, the Cabmate ROI semi-active suspension is on the right. For each up and down movement of the cab, the shock absorbers are restricting the movement of the cab, not stopping it completely, because then it would be like having no suspension at all. It's just slowing down the movement and limiting the up and down travel of the suspension. Now let's take the truck over a railroad track. This particular track provides quite a jolt. You'll see how each suspension handles it, and then we'll show you the split screen for a side by side comparison. Here's the stock suspension. I'm trying to accelerate up to about 30 here. Gonna hit about 25, so here we go. See what this feels like. Okay, 
okay, that's pretty good. That'll be a good comparison later when we get the uh, semi-active suspension under the cab. And now here's the cabmate ROI suspension. Okay, so we're approaching the first railroad track now. We're gonna have another go at this. We'll hit this at about 25 to 30 miles an hour. And we can compare, again, uh, one set of footage to the other, see what a difference it makes. But this one, as I recall, there was quite a thump to it. So you really knew you were hitting a bump. And we'll see how it does right now. So, <laughs> what a difference. Well, take all your engineering and instrumentation if you want, but I'll tell you right off the bat, that was a lot better than the first time. The seat didn't even bottom out this time. I think it hit the bottom last time. So uh, quite a difference there with the uh, electronics and that shock absorber grabbing on to dampen the thing before it traveled all the way to the bottom. What a difference. The shock absorbers in Link's new cab suspension are filled with a fluid that thickens as you apply a voltage to it. An accelerometer and position sensors sense the travel of the suspension and send signals to the shock to adjust the voltage applied to the liquid to slow the travel of the piston inside the shock absorber. Well, what else can I add to that? The visuals pretty well tell the whole story there. Link says much of what's driving the development of this technology is driver retention. They believe fleets will be keenly interested in this system as a way to improve driver retention, comfort and safety, especially in team operations. The Cabmate ROI suspension is slated to make its OAM debut sometime in 2019. At Link's World Headquarters in Sioux Center, Iowa, I'm Equipment Editor Jim Park.